Hello everyone, my name is Alex from Ernest Alex Reads, and today I'm going to be talking about my June wrap-up. This is the latest June wrap-up in the entirety of booktube, it feels like, but I didn't want to miss a wrap-up, and I read some really great books in June, so I'm just going to be super, super late. And that's just how it is. So let's talk about some books. First up is the um, audiobook that I listened to, um, Shrill by Lindy West. This is a memoir and I find it really hard to rate memoirs. I ended up giving this book five stars. It follows a um, plus size comedian and um, her experience uh, being a public figure, writing, being um, being fat on in the public sphere, um, the hate that she got for that, her um, experiences with relationships, um, and everything. And I thought that there were a lot of really good um, things that she had to say, um, but I did find it really hard to kind of rate her life, so I gave it five stars. Um, the other audiobook that I started in May and finished in June was Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. Um, these are kind of not modern retellings, but um, Norse mythology written in a more modern tone, um, and it's a collection of stories. Um, it kind of goes from the beginning of the world according to Norse mythology uh, all the way to Ragnarok. Um, Neil Gaiman narrated the audiobook. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, each story is a separate myth, but they're all kind of interconnected and there are hints and clues and um, kind of explanations of other short stories in later short stories. It's all very interconnected and you definitely, or I definitely felt that you you got like the feeling of sitting around a fire and hearing these stories, um, especially because of the audiobook. I thought it was a really good retelling of Norse mythology and I gave this book four stars. Now I'm going to talk about books that I read in June start to finish. Um, the first book that I read start to finish in June was The Flat Chair by Beth O'Leary. Um, I picked this book up because I heard about it from Chelsea, from Chelsea Dollings, um, another booktuber. She really loved this book and then I was in the airport and I saw it and I absolutely love this cover um, and so I picked it up and read it on the plane <laughs> uh, to America. This follows a woman called Tiffy and she needs um, a really cheap place to live um, very quickly. And so she ends up like renting the bed of Leon who works nights so they share a flat and they share a bed um, but they never actually see each other and it's kind of their relationship building and unfolding um, through post-it notes and I really liked it. There's a lot of talk about like gaslighting and um, toxic relationships and only noticing that after the relationship ends. Um, so trigger warnings if that is not something that you want to read, but it was a very, I thought it was very tastefully um, talked about in this book. Um, I gave this book four stars. The next five um, books that I read are actually graphic novels um, recommended by my brother. Um, I'll link or card or whatever, you'll you'll be able to find the video um, of my brother recommending me um, graphic novels and I'm going to do a separate uh, video talking about my experiences with that. So I did read five graphic novels. I really enjoyed my time but I'm not going to talk about it in this wrap up. So if you're interested, watch out for that video. The next full-length novel that I finished in the month of June was An American Marriage by Tayeri Jones. Um, this follows a newlywed couple and uh, the husband is wrongly um, put into prison and it kind of talks about <clears throat> The book looks at their uh, relationship through letters, about growing apart, trying to stay connected, um, and it is obviously uh, has a lot to do with the American uh, prison system and uh, the ramifications of that. I've wanted to read this book for a long time. I had a feeling that I was going to find it very impactful and that was true. I gave it four stars. I wouldn't say that I enjoyed it because it was sad and um, very emotional for me, 
um, but I do recommend the book. I then listened to a audiobook. Um, I listened to Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hawkins. This is like the companion no novel to Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins. Um, this follows the Princess of Scotland. I know that's not a real thing, but <laughs> it was fun pretending it was uh, in this kind of duology thing. Um, and she goes to a boarding school and uh, they she kind of falls in love with an American girl. So it's a female-female romance. It was really cute. I enjoyed it. I listened to it on the plane. Um, it was it was a nice romp, a nice summary, female-female romance. Um, I really enjoyed the concept and the romance and I gave this book, you guessed it, four stars. Next up I picked up The Air You Breathe by Francis de Ponte Pebles. This follows two girls in Brazil. One of them is um, a wealthy uh, daughter of a, plant a sugar plantation owner and the other one is a orphan who works in the kitchen and it explores their friendship as well as their musical careers. They run away to Rio and then end up uh, becoming super famous and basically um, it's a relationship kind of their relationship, friendship, um, explored throughout a lifetime. I gave this book four stars. <laughs> Next up, I finally finished The Power by Naomi Alderman. I have been wanting to read this and it's been on my physical TBR for about two years. This book um, takes place in an alternate universe where sometime in, in our near future, uh, women get the power to shock. They have like, um, shock people they have they can like control electricity within themselves um and it kind of follows the kind of power coup um women become super powerful and and um they kind of take over society there's a new religion all of this stuff um, this is definitely a super well thought out commentary on our society and gender roles kind of completely flipped so you think about it and you're not like oh men always do that or women are so gentle and caring um it kind of just flips everything on its head and i ended up giving this book four stars next i picked up the alice network by kate quinn um in the past i've had mixed reactions to historical fiction set around world war ii this book is actually set during world war one and in 1947, so after World War II. Um, I thought it was very interesting. Um, it talked a lot about the uh, women spies in World War I, which I thought was super interesting um, and made for a really great novel. I also, as you may have realized, really love multiple timelines, um, especially in historical fiction, so that was a plus point for this novel. I thought it was a great book all around, um, not my new favorite, but definitely a good read. Uh, and I give this book, can you guess? Four stars. Um, next up, I picked up Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I really liked it. It kind of took me a while to get into, but I liked the premise. I liked how contained this novel was um, and how uh, it just built up to the, to the climax really, really well. Um, I also liked the way that this book um, kind of demands that the reader think about what is right and what is wrong and if you're okay with rooting for someone who is actually a bad person if there is like a badder person involved very interesting thought a lot while reading this and i'm pretty sure i also gave this book four stars i then immediately picked up vengeful by v e schwab um i did not enjoy this book as much it is significantly longer and i was of the opinion that you really didn't need a sequel. Um, all in all, I gave this book three stars. I then actually managed to read a book in German, um, Oya House by Bob Berg. Um, unfortunately, I did not particularly like this book. Um, it reminded me a lot of Catcher in the Rye, which I have bad memories of. Um, I just thought the main character was really not 
like I just didn't like him. I didn't like the main character and I didn't really care about the story but I did read it and I gave it three stars but maybe two I don't know. The next book that I picked up was The Love and Lies of Ruxana Ali by Sabina Khan. Um, this book follows Ruxana Ali and she is dating a girl um, and her parents find out and send her back to Bangladesh uh, to find a husband and partake in a arranged marriage. Um, all in all, I like this book. It went way darker than I thought it was going to. Um, crazy stuff happened and I was not expecting it to happen. I also thought that this book was wrapped up really quickly. But that being said, I gave it four stars and I am glad that I finally picked this book up. Okay, we're almost done. Um, the next book I picked up was Ivy Everdeen's Letter to the World by Ashley Heron Blake. This is a middle grade book. This follows um, Ivy Everdeen and her house gets destroyed in a hurricane and she loses her not a hurricane, a tornado, sorry, um, and her notebook gets lost um, in the chaos and in this notebook there are lots of pictures of her holding hands with another girl and it kind of explores her coming to terms with uh, liking girls and being afraid of telling people and feeling a lot of feelings being the middle child and growing up and family changing and also this traumatic event she doesn't have a home um so there's a lot going on for ivy aberdeen um and this book kind of follows um that journey and i really loved it and i cried and i think this is an amazing book and i gave it five stars i would highly recommend it to anyone it's just the best I then read the most, what feels like the most hyped book of booktube at the moment, um, Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. Um, I think this book is worth the hype. Um, I give it five stars. This follows the first son of the first female president, um, Alex Claremont Diaz, um, and his kind of hate to love journey with uh, the Prince of England. Um, I adored this. I thought it was so nice. I just loved it. I want to read it again. I'm fully on the hype train. Five stars. Yay. I cannot wait for Casey McQuiston's next novel, which centers around female-female romance. I am so ready. And the last book that I read in the month of June, my birthday month, is the novel Birthday by Meredith Russo. This follows um, a friendship and they were born on the same day and this book kind of follows their friendship every birthday um, starting at 13 and ending at 18. <sighs> this book was equally heartwarming and heart-wrenching. It was so emotional. I read it in one night. I could not put it down. I was an emotional wreck afterwards. It was beautiful and also so so sad. Um, five stars. Would highly recommend this book. So those are all of the books that I read in the month of June. Thank you for watching my super late and super chaotic uh, June wrap-up. Um, Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.